So, in the habit of going after other YouTubers' records, we're going after Blitz's altitude record using these tiny little Separatrons here. And there's gonna be a lot of them. So, if we get a little pod for our Kerbal here, and then we just decorate the whole thing with Separatrons. This is kind of what Blitz did in his video. Just you know, a whole lot more. His rocket ended up looking like a government building or something. And then with the simple system like this, he managed to get to... Why are they all in separate stages? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. He managed to get up to 13,000 meters, I believe. This actually isn't too bad, doing them each in separate stages like this. Whoop, parachute was in that stage too. Uh, okay, it should be fine. And we just are suddenly losing all of our speed because the parachute got excited. But there we get up to... 55? We get up to 5,800 meters with just that. That's not too bad. And Tim survives. I didn't even know Tim was Hello. a character. Hello. So the secret to this, I think, is going to be keeping all of the weight to a minimum, which means we can't use fuel tanks like this. That's four and a half tons right there. And even the small ones are half a ton. But you know what is pretty light, though? It's these trusses down here, because this is 0.1 tons, and that just goes on there like that. That's pretty small. Can we get Separatrons on there? Uh, I think we can. Oh, yes. And we can get a lot of them. The one thing I'm wondering about, though, is which is going to be better, firing them all at once or in stages like we just did? Because there's going to be a lot of stages. But if we can get a constant rate of acceleration, I think we'll be better off. And also our computer might perform a little bit better. I feel like Blitz also set a record for frame rate in that video. Like, did we create some sort of rocket-powered trebuchet? I don't really know, because everything seems broken right now. And then we can get one more row of Separatrons here. And we have the most illegal firecracker ever. Wow, that's a lot of them. How many stages even is this? <laughs> 30 stages of just Separatrons. Okay, maybe we can group some of these up. Maybe by uh, row. There we go. 10 stages of Separatrons. All in sequence. And then the last one is a parachute, so it doesn't slow us down. I do feel pretty good about this. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> okay, yep. I remember this happening. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> That's a very early takeoff. Uh-huh. How about we just point this thing up to the sky? Because that's where we're going. Oh my goodness. What happened there? That was a very early boost. Okay, so something about this makes it just want to go absolutely everywhere. Some of these uh, clashing together. Maybe they just don't like where they are on the trusses. Okay, I might see the problem. Some of these separatrons are clipping through each other. Let's fix that. If this doesn't work, I'm going to say it's because of the legs. And then I'll redesign. And it will... Yep. Okay, slim this down to one section, and it seems to be working. And when I say working, it means it hasn't blown up yet. So let's do this. And then quick burns are done, and then we fire the rest of these, and we survive the burn. The fact that that's our uh, range of success right now. 5,000, and all right then. I guess we're gonna be slowly increasing how many of these we have until we succeed. Also, why is this head poking through there? Tim's like, get me out of this. I don't wanna be going up anymore. So if we just take this and slap it on again, I guess we're slowly slowly increasing to see how much of this is gonna blow up. Okay, we're fine. It is pretty wiggly. Not a big fan of that, but I am a fan of how much acceleration we're getting off of this. Engineer report saying we wouldn't be able to leave the launch pad. What do you know? You're just an engineer. And we're carrying a lot more velocity when we run out of fuel, so we should be able to get up there. And that's somehow worse. We somehow got worse records. I'm gonna guess it's because we have all this real estate that doesn't have thrusters on it. So why don't we just fix that really quick? Maybe just sticking with one row of Sepatrons per piece. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> I might have found the limit. For some reason, 24 of these close together is a bit much to ask, which is annoying. And yep, 16 of these in each stage is not too much to ask for some reason. So maybe this will do better for us. If we just keep this pointed up, have those burn out, and then the rest of these burn out. I could probably put separatrons, not separatrons, uh, decouplers here between each of the stages. And why are you turning already? This is not what we signed up for. You're supposed to go up. But I mean, he is going up, except he's doing about the same as he was was before. He's actually doing worse. So we can reduce mass by just having as many of these separators, which are called decouplers, as we can between each of the stages so we can shed off a lot of the weight. And I kind of wonder, can we get another row of separatrons on here? Oh my gosh, we can. And that doesn't look like it'd be interfering with anything. And they're already clipping through each other. Oh my goodness. Hopefully that's fine. Okay, so let's launch this as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh, that's shaking already. What? Did I see things clip through each other? Okay, that's done. Separate and burn. At least the stages work 
fine. And we shed the weight and burn all of these at once. Okay, this is accelerating a lot less than before. But whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, they decided to fall off. That's cool. We're still going up. And I think we're about to beat our old record. Please. Nope, it's about the same. And look at all those parts falling back to the earth. Or Kerbin, sorry. Don't mean to offend anybody. Can I just want to see a ton of little explosions go everywhere? Uh, nope. <laughs> they just all disappear at once. But at least him is able to tell everybody about it. <laughs> I can see the Separatron legs in his little cabin there. So the question is, how much weight do these have? They have that much mass. And the little pod has that much weight. And that's the smallest. Well, there's also this one. That's not too much of a difference, though. But this rover chair is pretty light. Oh, this might be a bad idea, but I want to do it. If we just trash the pod, and then we strap little Tim into a rover chair here, and then just build everything around this, that saves so much weight. That would also be the scariest amusement park ride ever. I think that's a safe spot for him, right? Actually, which way does he sit? Is he... Okay, he's looking up. That's fine with me. And the best part is we can see him, like, directly in the middle, so he's just surrounded by fire. And then just a parachute up top. None of this is legally connected. This is gonna be weird. But hopefully... Okay, so I've been trying some things, and even if the Separatrons are, like, this far removed from the vessel, it works. And I decided to spin it a little bit because, uh, watch this. <laughs> he just spins like crazy. Poor little Tim got sucked into a washing machine. At least he's having a good time, though. And we're able to get up to 41,000 that time. And if we come in here, we can see maximum Gs are 34 Gs. Gs, Louise. So we can get all these on here. They just can't be touching, like, at all. So then we just pull them away in stages like this. That actually might work, as weird as it looks. I'm just gonna be here for the next 20 minutes, making sure this is all set to go. See, the hardest part is getting enough of these to cooperate operate where they don't just immediately combust. And when I say combust, I mean blow up in the smithereens because if I add a, another row of this, like I was doing the top and bottom, but it just decides that's too much and it violently shakes apart and Tim is nowhere to be seen. I've been trying to get this thing working for a few hours now and somehow this, this little design that I made as a, you know, just demonstration bit at the beginning is getting the best record. And it just constantly increases our velocity so that even if we run out, look, we're getting way higher than all those other complicated rockets were before. And last time we got 5,800? But now with this, we get 6,000 meters. Why is this simple design the best? And we actually got up to 6,100 meters. This is why I'm not a rocket scientist, because this just doesn't make sense. But we can go with this. Forget all the complicated stuff. We're going to design around this. So there are some things I'm wondering, though, is I'm pretty sure there's, like, air resistance in the game because, like, you know, some things like heat don't exist, but I'm pretty sure air does. So if we put like a tail section on the back here, it would have the wind wrap around this more evenly instead of it just kind of like slamming together behind this, creating a sort of like, I don't know, turbulence area. And we're also gonna need something to support this thing before it launches. So that's what these clamps would be for. Whoa, that's upside down. There we go. Please don't, oh, okay. It's not falling apart. This is good. This is very good. Okay, that's working a lot better. Uh, let's have you point up, please. Yep, you keep going up. We'll wait for this to get up there. Separate and then boost some more. I think we're well on our way to passing our current record. And we get to... How far up? AP about 12,000? But we hit 10,000 meters. This is already a huge improvement. And we get to... 11,000 meters. Okay, this is good. We're actually pretty close to the record already. And we seem to get way more boost if there's more uh, Sepatrons up here. So how many can we fit on here without it going absolutely haywire? My previous rockets tell me this is a bad idea. Okay, we're still stable. This is good. And then we just do as we did before. We wait for the frames to catch up and then we keep going. Just make sure it stays on an up trajectory. And then once the tail's done, we cut it off like a lizard and boost. Letting go a little sooner than last time because I'm pretty sure I should keep up the velocity. And it is definitely climbing. And we still have like how many more stages to go? <laughs> and it's still climbing. This is working. Okay, now we're on the second row of Separatrons. Just not caring for anything except boosting straight to the sky. And Tim is here for it. It. Uh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, a little bit of panic there. Wow, we just lost so much velocity with that. Okay, whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even more panic and fly off. Okay, wow. We didn't get nearly the height we did last time. So maybe just one extra row of these. So we lift off, getting past the initial frame stuttering. Make sure it's pointed straight. Oh, camera does weird things when I try to turn it. I don't know why it does that. But we're still going straight up, which is good. Okay, initial burn is done. And then we separate. Oh, before it starts panicking. Woo, we got out of there just in time. 
Oh, that was... That was too close. But now we just do as we do and burn all of these in sequence. I can't remember what the rate of our velocity was before, but I think we're doing pretty good right now. Okay, this is the last stage, and then we see how high this gets. I feel like I'm playing learn to fly here. That speed is already dropping off way too fast. So we need to separate the tail section before everything goes all wonky. This is gonna need pretty precise timing. And separate. Okay, we're free. <laughs> yes, it blows up. Oh my goodness. And we might be getting up to oh wait we're why are we losing velocity we're still burning here that's different maybe i can get one more row in up here i mean at least it looks clean it's just all a matter of fine tuning until we get the right combination of separatrons at least everything works on this first stage and separate immediately there we go just gonna be burning through all of these in rapid succession and the speed just immediately drops there's really nothing that goes differently i'm not really sure what happens it hits a shelf and then loses all of that upward momentum well, I do wonder if we slot a cargo space somewhere in here that we can get another row of separatrons in here just to try and help carry that upward movement. But these sections do get a little bit bouncy as well. Yeah, very bouncy. But we keep going up positively. All right, so we separate that and then burn these ones. There we go. There we go. I'm just wondering about that wall that we're going to hit. So we just need a lot of velocity before we get there, which we are about to, but oh, okay, we're still going up still going up still going up the ap is passing twenty four thousand, so that should be good for us Ten thousand. oh please let this be it eleven thousand twelve thousand we're still at about 200 meters a second and thirteen thousand. we made it okay please go a little farther a little farther that's all i need six Seven, nine, just a little more. Oh, <laughs> almost 14,000. At least little Tim's going to survive. We almost made it to 14,000 meters. I feel like that's a new record. I'm going to have to check. Okay, so I looked at it again and Blitz barely made it to 13,000, whereas I almost got to 14,000. So that's almost a 1,000 meter difference. I just really want to see that number. One more row of Separatrons should do the job. And that was really good timing on the separation there. So much so the frames gave out, but we're still doing good. And then we burn this one, keeping that acceleration going. And then that breaks away and we just keep on boosting, not giving this any time to slow us down. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're still going up. Ooh, look at that velocity go up. Woo, okay. Now it's just a matter of coasting. We reached 600 meters a second. Oh, wow. And we're, what? <laughs> look at that. We're past 14,000, all right, 15. Oh. Oh, that did the trick. Why did I ever deviate from this design? We got, look at that, it's still going up. Oh, please. Oh, that'd be amazing if we got past 20. But we're not quite gonna get there. 19,600 meters. Tim got a new record. Oh! And that is really high up too. Curvature of the planet and everything. Tim C. Kerman gets a nice, pleasant glide straight back down to the landing pad. We actually might be a little bit off. Okay, parachute's fine. And so are we. Very cool. We'll recover that vessel. Highest altitude, 19,600 meters. So I'd say it's definitely more than Blitz's 13,000 record. And with like half of the Separatrons too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.